Hello everyone, welcome to Online Seller UK podcast. My name is Prabhat, founder at Online Seller UK. And we've been doing this series of podcasts regarding Amazon for the last uh, last year. And we've got more than 40, 50 podcasts now. So if you want to head up to Online Seller UK YouTube channel, you'll be able to see a whole lot of uh, resources there. So today I've got uh, Diana from Zone with me. So Diana, welcome to our podcast. Hi. Excellent. So, Diana, so we, you know, before the call, you were talking about this excellent tool you have uh, with Salesone uh, with regards to product research. And uh, this works for the US only market. Is that yeah, what it at is? At this time, uh, we only support the US marketplace. But in uh, 2022, we will think about expanding to other marketplaces uh, based on our users' feedback. Yes, excellent. So, uh, how long is this tool uh, going on uh, now in the US market? Uh, since uh, 2018. Okay, excellent. So there, there has been quite a, you know, a couple of years being tested, I would have thought. Okay, excellent. So, so do you want to dive into uh, uh, the product research process and how does it work? Yeah, you're going to share the screen and, and show us? Of course. So can you see it? Yes, absolutely. Nice. So speaking about Amazon product research, this is our free tool, uh, which was launched in uh, September 2021. And it's a tool for beginners to help them find new product, a perfect product to sell on Amazon. So to start using the tool, uh, you just need to select a category or a number of categories uh, which you're interested in. Uh, let it be, for this example, uh, some baby products and beauty and personal care. You can also start your research using a keyword. So the tool will try to find this keyword in the title of the product uh, or set uh, the selling price range if uh, it's relevant for you. Let it be low selling price. And then you just click on to find products and uh, wait until the research is done. Uh, I also need to point out that each cell zone user has uh, 15 requests per day. And yeah, this tool can be used uh, by anyone without a paid subscription, which I think is very nice. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So okay. the research is almost done. And I'll quickly uh, describe what you'll see in the search results. So here is a product card containing uh, different information which uh, may be important for an Amazon seller uh, who wants to start their own business. And apart from the title and the ASIN, uh, the product research tool provides such information as uh, sales per month. So, so our internal algorithms um, try to identify um, how many units are sold per month. And for example, for these specifiers, the range is defined as good, but you can just hover over the tooltip and see a more um, precise result. Then the selling price, and then comes uh, the most interesting part, which is uh, the summary of uh, fees and profit. And here I'd like to stop specifically to talk about um, the fees breakdown because it's essential for every seller to know how much uh, they would spend on uh, selling each unit. And here we see the fulfillment fee, the referral fee, and the variable closing fee, which is uh, zero here because it's not a media product. But uh, even more important is to know how much you would gain uh, from selling each particular product. And uh, you can also calculate this using our profit calculator. So here, uh, based on the data which we already have, which we pulled from Amazon, um, uh, you just insert necessary um, uh, metrics like product cost because the Amazon seller is the only one who knows uh, how much it costs to produce a unit or uh, to buy it from some other supplier. Uh, so let it be, I don't know, for 40 cents. And here you see the final uh, ROI and the profit. And I, I think it's um, really nice uh, to have this information available in a free tool. And yes, 
Um, another good feature which I'd like to mention is advanced search, uh, because not only category and selling price is what, um, what helps you determine uh, a good product to sell, you can also filter them uh, by bestsellers rank, uh, by, by the number of sellers who also offer this product, uh, the number of reviews and the rating because you don't want to sell something that is not rated good by, by the final customers. So I'd want to see something from three to five. And again, I just click on find products and see my final results. Uh, that's it. So you just uh, conduct several uh, re researches, find those products that you uh, think they're interesting, and the profit that they would bring you uh, satisfies you. So you just uh, add those products uh, that you like to your favorites. And then uh, all of those saved uh, product cards are available for you in the favorites section. And from here, uh, you can export them and keep working on them in some external programs. So yeah, I think I've shown you the, the full workflow uh, using our product research tool. Excellent. So uh, when you go into this uh, favorite bar mm -hmm. um, that you're aware, and when you uh, export this data, so what does it look like? Uh, yeah, let's see. So it's just a table. Yes. Okay. Uh, with all of those cards. Okay. And um, yeah, all, all of them uh, may be used in uh, some other toolkits for other research, for example, mm -hmm. uh, if you want to find um, good keywords to promote this product further when, yeah. you're, when you will set up the listings. And uh, most of this work can also be done using CellZone, but another tool which we'll talk a bit later, I think. Yes, uh, yes. I think this is really good tool, as you said. Um, and in terms of uh, going back to the research, one more thing I'd like you to try um, there is about keywords. So when you go back a little bit on that, yeah. so if we put any keywords, so sometimes what generally happens, the result may be not relevant to what I want. Um, and if I start putting, say, for example, um, so in this particular case, if you scroll down a little bit, please. Yes, sure. Yeah, so there is other baby product. Okay, I can see people pass. Yeah, keep going down, please. Okay, so teether, for example. So if you type in the word teether, T-W-E-T-H-E-R, on the top, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, see what sort of result we get. Excellent, thank you. So it's, it will be nice to, um, you know... Um, Test it out. Yes, exactly. Um, and also find a very specific result because obviously baby category and beauty category maybe two hues. Yeah, uh, yeah exactly. Yeah, this keyword uh, will be searched in uh, the titles of the products. And uh, if we find any relevant entries, uh, they'll be listed here. Yes, okay. This here's is here's the one uh, which we already uh, saw. Yeah, yeah. And right. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, this is really good. So I think uh, also, I guess um, we can look at the pricing as well. So if you scroll up a little bit, so if you click on uh, low selling price. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. So on that one. So, okay, that's good. So this is what I want. Sometimes you don't want to see very cheap products. Yes. Sometimes you want to see a little bit quality products or maybe higher price products. So I think it's a good functionality there. So you can filter out some of the prices as well and so since the margin is bigger with those um, um, higher priced products of uh, it's sometimes yeah necessary to look through them as well okay okay now this is really good so uh thank you diana for explaining the product research within sales zone i think uh the listeners and uh, viewers of this video will uh, take advantage of that is there anything you would like to add before we finish today diana um, I'd like to encourage everyone to try product research. Uh, that's, I think that's everything. And uh, if you'd like to start your Amazon business, uh, first of all, the first step you need to undertake is to find a product. 
And this workflow is available with CellZone. So just uh, open it and try it and you will see the result. And it's free for 14, 15 searches per day, you mentioned, right? Yes, exactly. Excellent. Excellent. So thanks very much again, Diana, for your time today. So you. um, what we'll do is we'll book another call and perhaps talk about another part of CellZone so uh, people can take advantage of those. Okay. All the best, Diana. Speak to you soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye.